So you got Grand Blue Fantasy and you're not sure how to approach Endgame or you don't even know what Endgame looks like. Lots and lots of farming. Anyway, I made mistakes when reaching Endgame, so hopefully this video will help you avoid making the same ones and make your relic experience a little bit smoother than, than mine. So let's get right into it. First thing is to pick a character and stick with him. In fact, pick four party members and stick with them till the end. As you progress through the end game quests, they get harder and harder, so it's wise to keep your party around the same power level so it goes smoothly. But honestly, if you find yourself struggling, there's no shame in using online co-op. I won't tell anyone. Second is, do not unlock all the characters. When farming your ultimate weapon, it's RNG, and the more characters you have unlocked, the less likely you are to get one for your main. I definitely unlocked everyone because I have no self-control, but I also wasn't aware of this. I've gotten 10 Terminus weapons, but none for my main Vaughn. Be careful what you exchange for knickknack vouchers. You never know what you might need in the future. Silver Centrum, which is one of the endgame materials needed to level up weapons and sigils, can be traded for a variety of items. They have no dedicated drop and is spread across most of the Manic and Proud difficulty quests, so trading items at the shack is a good way to reduce later farming. Next tip and probably the most vital is sub to the channel for more Grand Blue JRPG and anime content. But for real, next tip is to be wary of damage cap. You start receiving damage cap sigils in the late game through appraisals and prod quests. These are very important. Damage cap affects how much DPS you could put out for normal attacks. I'm talking about more the sigils, but there's also damage cap for skills and chambers and whatnot. But those come from your mastery tree and your over mastery bonuses. So definitely be wary of that. And finally, play your way. You can clear all the content with any character and each are fun and unique. Don't feel burdened by the meta, although some characters are outperforming others. You bought this game to have fun, so do that, even if it means ignoring all my previous advice. I think that about wraps it up. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go and not get Vayne's weapon. So I hope this video helped you out and keep enjoying Grand Blue Fantasy Relink.